The few short years, the Prime Minister has lost control of the deficit of immigration and of our border. He gave a 20, he had, he gave us a 2,500 percent increase in the number of unprocessed refugee claims, and he still thinks that three million temporary residents are going to leave this country voluntarily. Canada is staring down the barrel at 25 percent tariffs, thanks to his open border policies, his free drugs for everyone plan, and his economic vandalism. The Prime Minister can mitigate that all today. Where is the Canada First plan to keep our border safe? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Immigration, Citizenship and Refugees. Mr. Speaker, these people just aren't serious. She supports the leader of the opposition who sat idly by in government while they cut money to border enforcement right. at the Canada-U.S. borders, cut yeah, at the immigration right. refugee border. And for those of them that are saying this is ancient history, we proposed an asylum reform package in May, and you know what the Conservatives did and the clapping seals in the back did at the Finance Committee? They voted against it and voted it down. They can support us in our asylum reform. If they so choose, I encourage them to do so. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. Government for nine years. They've known for years that immigration was out of control. They knew for years that asylum claims were out of control. And they knew for years that our border was broken. Right. None of what newly elected President Trump has been campaigning on was a secret. And the Prime Minister even threw that minister under the bus for his incompetence in immigration. If we're going to save Canadian jobs, we need a plan yesterday to fix the disorder at the border. So I'll ask again, where is the Canada first plan to keep our border safe? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Citizenship, Refugees and Immigration. Mr. Speaker, these, this is from the uh, gleeful authors of the barbaric practices snitch line. That was their approach to immigration when they last had a chance. We have been very serious with President Trump about our intention to secure the border. It is something that we clearly intend to do. They have an opportunity to do a number of things, and that is to support any asylum reform that we put in front of the House. I encourage them to break their silliness in the House and to do so.